This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Pasasalamat ng isang sambayan ng patuloy na nagpupuri sa Panginoon ng pagpapala. It is then with grateful hearts that we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord who raises up those who are bowed down. May His love and protection be with you all. And with your spirit. Ating pakikinggan sa araw na ito ang storya ng isang balo na nagbigay ng kanyang kaya para sa sambayanan, para sa simbahan noong panahong iyon. Ikatutuwa ng Panginoong Kristo ang kanyang puso, hindi yung laki ng kanyang ibinigay, kundi ang pag-ibig na nagtulak sa kanya upang siya'y magbigay. For those moments when we did not love and trust God enough to be able to give Him what He deserves, we ask His forgiveness. Sabay-sabay po, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We join our hearts, we praise this loving God as we proclaim glory to God in the highest. Thank you. 
God of power and mercy, protect us from all harm. Give us freedom of spirit and heal and health in mind and body to do your work on earth. Grant us to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Because the widow of Zarephath shared food with the prophet Elijah, she and her son survived the time of famine. This action of the pagan widow mirrors the generosity of the widow in today's gospel. The first reading. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry. As the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. By his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ, our High Priest, did not enter the sanctuary of the Temple of Jerusalem, but the heavenly sanctuary itself. He thus makes it possible for us to come before God's presence. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God in our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, 
Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to this treasury. For they had all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa templo ng Jerusalem, pag kayo po'y papasok na, mayroong pong doon na parang nakabaliktad o parang imbudo, imbudo, kung saan lahat ng mga pumapasok doon ilalagay ang kanilang contribution for the upkeep and for the needs of the, the priests and the needs of the temple. Dito po sa harapan itong parang maliit na imbodo, tumayo ang Panginoon. And even as he did, he saw everybody putting in their contributions. Sa dami ba naman ang dumadaan sa mga malalaking ilalagay ng iba, isa ang nakakuha ng pansin ng ating Panginoon, ang babaing balo. Pag sinabi po ninyong balo sa mga panahong iyon, ikaw ho'y alagain ng buong komunidad. Lalo na kung ikay walang anak na lalaki, wala kang juridical personality. In short, halos wala kang suporta na maaasahan. The Lord saw her putting in two small coins. The worth noon ay napakababa, a few cents. Pero pakinggan natin ang komentaryo ng Panginoon. Sa napakaraming mga nagbigay, puro malalaki yung iba, eto ang balong ito ang nagbigay ng pinakamalaki. Sapagkat she gave not from her surplus or extra, she gave everything she had to rely on for life. My dear friends, bibigyan ko po kayo ngayon sa araw na ito ng isang katagang binigay kanina sa akin ni Father Tommy. The word is proportionate giving. Anong ibig sabihin? Madali ang magbigay ng extra Madali ang magbigay ng sobra. Madali ang magbigay ng hindi kailangan. But when the person gives to the Lord, the Lord demands a proportionate giving. Magbigay ka ayon sa iyong kakayahan. Alam nyo, sasabihin ko na sa inyong totoo, after 28 years, after I've met a lot of people poor and rich, eto, sasabihin ko sa inyo, na marami sa mga mayayaman kuripot sa bigayan. Nung talagang mayayamang mayayaman, except sa iilan, sagot sa akin ng kaibigan, kaya nga mayaman sila eh, hindi sila nagbibigay. <laughs> Pero ako, na-experience ko yung talagang tunay na pagbibigay, hindi sa masyadong mayamang mayaman. Sabi ko na sa inyo, naikwento ko na ito minsan, pero ito, ito, it really struck me kasi personal na experience. Merong tumawag sa akin minsan, Father, pwede ba kayo mag-bless ng helicopter? Sosyal. Helicopter. Ha? Oo, Father, helicopter po. Father, eh, ang, ang helicopter andun po sa domestic airport. Father, kayo ba'y pupuntahan namin dyan? O susunduin na lang namin kayo ng helicopter, kakuwag. <laughs> Tataas ang kilay ng mga kaparian dito kung bakit ako'y biglang nag-helicopter. Hindi, sunduin nyo na lang ako ng sasakyan. Diyan na lang tayo mag-bless sa hangar. O sige, Father, pupunta kami. So, pumunta kami. 
pumunta sila. At dumating kami sa airport, nakita ko yung helicopter, brand new, as in bagong-bago. Amoy mo pa yung, pagka, yung plastic, para bagang bagong tinalupan na regalo. Binigay sa akin ko sino yung pangalan na may-ari. Hindi ko siyempre ibibigay sa inyo. <laughs> Pero kilalang-kilalang tao. O di sige, private helicopter. Ay sapagkat helicopter, hinabaan ko konti yung blessing. <laughs> Siyempre, helicopter yun eh. Eh kasi ang sabi sa akin, 16 million yan, Father. Noon pa yun ha, noon. O di blessing kami. Pagkatapos mag-blessing, ang sabi sa akin, Father, ay yung helicopter ay transfer lamang doon, Father, sa building na yun. O, oh, ililipad lang ng konti. Baka gusto mong sumakay. Eh hindi pa ako nakakasakay ng helicopter. Kako pag-asa ko na. O di sige, sakay ako. So pumasok ako sa loob. Ang dalawa lamang na naandun was yung pilot, co-pilot, at ang passenger, ako. Di feeling ako, mantakin mo, dalawa yung aking driver. No? Umakyat kami. Biglang sinabi ng pilot, Father, test drive na natin. Maniwala ba kayo? Umabot kami hanggang Malabon. Ha? 30 minutes, Laguna, Manila Bay, tinikot namin yung Ateneo, tinuntun namin yung EDSA, hanggang dumating kami, dumaan kami sa seminary. Oh, Father, baka gusto nyo dito ka na namin ibaba. Huwag ka ko, huwag. Skandal yan, skandal. You know? So, dumaretso kami. Hanggang sa, bumalik kami roon. Naku, hilong-hilo ako doon sa 30 minute na drive, you know. Pero pag helicopter pala, ang dami mo maaabot in 30 minutes time. Pagkababa, syempre, mainabot na envelope. Uy, salamat naman. Pagdating ko sa seminaryo, excited ako. Habang kumakain ng mga kaparean, pumasok ako sa loob, biglang tinataas ko yung bilang, Hi! Nag-blessing ako ng helicopter. No? Sabi ng superior, Uy, okay ah, helicopter. O, ayun, ayun, buksan na nga natin ang envelope. Blessing pala to ng helicopter. Eh, pagbukas ng envelope, o, sa awa ng Diyos, 300 pesos. <laughs> alam niyo, kung alam ko lang, baka dinagdagan ko pa. <laughs> baka sabihin ng superior ko, nangungupit na ako. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, there are some people who are unable to understand. No? Proportionate giving. Handa ka magbigay ayon sa iyong kakayahan. Pero totoo to, nakadalasan yung mga sobrang mayayaman, hindi nila masyadong feel na siya ay blessed at dapat maging blessing din. Eto pa, hindi invento tunay na storya. May tumawag, Father, we are having a party tonight. We feel like, bago mag-party, ay, Father, ito ang okasyon, magpapamisa po kami. O di, sige ka ko, saan ba gagawin? Father, in one of the villages of Makati, sa bahay, Father, gagawin. O di, sige ka ko, sunduin niyo ako. Dumating Mercedes Benz. O di, sige. Aba, pagdating ko, bongga ang party, may band sila, catering around the pool. Talagang kasosyal lang sobra. O, di, syempre, kumain din ako. Pagkatapos noon, Father, sabi ko, Ma'am, bukas maaga po yung misa ko, aalis na po ako. O sige, Father, wait a while, Father, ha, maibibigay kami. O na na excited naman ako. You know? Binigay sa akin isang envelope. All right, Father, yung Mercedes kanina ay hindi po natin ma magagamit. Father, ay papahatid na lang kita sa isa pang Mercedes Benz. Okay, so hiniatid ako. Sapagat excited ako, sa loob pa lamang ng kotse, Binubuksan ko na yung envelope. Pagkabukas ko, nagulat ako sa laki. 100 pesos. Alam mo, talagang hinalugog ko yung kotse, baka ako nahulog yung iba. You know? Ay talagang wala akong mahanap. Talagang 100 pesos lang ang laman. You know? Sometimes you begin to feel, ano ba? You, know? you have so much blessing, you are unable to understand that even as God blesses you, you are supposed to be a blessing in proportion to the blessings that you receive. Kaya, uh, alam nyo, tatlo klase pala ang nagbibigay. Tatlong klase. The first is what you call the grudge giving. You hate to give. Tawag mo sa bawat pagbibigay mo, damage ko. <laughs> Para bagang, you know, na-damage ako doon. Nagbigay ako ng malaki. There are some persons who when they give, feeling nila, hindi maganda. You know? May mga iba pa dyan, hindi nagbibigay sa gabi. Kasi daw, masama. 
mga, 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 mga ganun. Kung sasabihin mo, ay mo lang talaga magbigay, di huwag ka na lang kung ano-ano pang pinagsasasabi. At many times, you know, yung mga pagsasasabihin mo, oy mayroon tayong project, yung kadalasang malakas magreklamo, yun ang kadalasang di talaga nagbibigay. You know, grudge giving. They are unable to give. Ang gusto lamang nila, kaabig, kuha, kita. Pero yung sabi mong magbibigay ka, wala sa kanilang vocabulary yun. Ayaw nilang magbigay. Grudge giving. May iba naman. Ano? Yung kaya, na ang, pag, ang feeling nila, pag nagbigay, obligation eh. You know? Feeling na hold up. Kaya pag ang mga collection sa misa, you know, pag nakatutok na, talagang feeling, ay, napipilitan ako magbigay. Ay, may pare akong kakilala, Italiano. Nako, ang dami niyang simbahan at mga retreat house na napapatayo. Eh, kasi noon siya inaasain sa parokya sa Green Hills, no? Pag yay nagko-collection, sumasama siya sa mga collectors. <laughs> Yung pare, mm, nakasutana yan at nakastola, at talagang pag dumikit sa'yo, hanggang hindi ka nagbibigay, hindi siya maalis. At eto pa, pagkakilala niya yung kanyang hinihingan at tapos sisilipin niya, biglang sisigaw pa yan, only, mm, mm, kaya mapipinitin ka magbigay. Some give because it is an obligation to give. Ah, but there is a third kind of giver. Hindi siya grudge giving na nagagalit pag nahihingian. Hindi siya obligatory giving na napipilitan lang kaya nagbibigay. He is a person who is thanksgiving. Nagbibigay sapagkat nagpapasalamat. Mga kapatid, ang tunay na nagbibigay is a person who understands marami akong biyayang tinanggap. And in return, I give back to the Lord as an act of pasasalamat. Kaya ang tunay na nagbibigay is a person who understood, Hoy, blessed ako, and I need to be a blessing. That's the person who makes his thanksgiving. Kaya ang isang tao palang tunay na nagbibigay ay ang taong tumatanaw ng loob. Sabi ni Archbishop Tagle, minsan nagbigay siya ng tok. At kung hindi ka marunong tumanaw ng loob, isa kang taong walang loob. Why? You're unable to understand that you are a person na kung mayroon ka man, it's because God has blessed you well and provided for you. My dear friends, today Jesus appreciates the widow. Not because He was obligated, not because He was grudgingly giving, but because He was giving thanks. But more than that, He showed so much trust in faith na itong Diyos na Kanyang sinasampalatayanan ay isang Diyos who will not be outdone in generosity. Yung binigay niya is everything he had. You cannot but say he must have so much faith and trust that God indeed sees his generosity and will bless him much. Paulit-ulit na natin sinasabi to. Giving does not mean one loses. Kasi ganun ang kadalasan na, oy, nagbigay ako, nawalan ako. Hindi po. When one gives, one does not mean that he lose. It doesn't mean that you lose. Rather, you empty yourself for a fresh refill of God's graces. Yun yun. Binubuksan mo ang sarili mo. Binibigyan mo ng space ang sarili mo upang itong Diyos ng pagpapaalay makita at tandya niya muling ibuhos sa iyo ang biyayang kanya nang naihanda. Sagot sa iyong tunay na pananampalataya na ang Diyos ay Diyos ng biyaya. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, you know, we have been doing this TV ministry for the longest time. Sobra na siguro ng sampung taon. And one of the few things that I recognize is this. Feel mo na ang isang project is a project of God. When despite of the fact na wala tayong malalaking mga contributors, at mga sinasabing permanent na permanent na malakihang korporasyon na nagbibigay. We have been sustained by our television, by our benefactors and supporters. At kadalasan hindi malalaki ang mga dumadating. And yet people feel, Oy, blessed ako ng TV mas na yan. Dapat akong magbigay. 
Kaya sometimes nakakalungkot, no? May mga tao ako nakakausap, mga mayayaman, no? Father, grabe, ganda ng sermon mo. Bless na blessed ako. Ang gusto ko idugtong. Bless mo na rin kami. Bakit? Kasi hindi namin maipagpatuloy to kung wala ang inyong tulong. Do not just be a, a receiver on the other side. Be also a giver. Because itong television mass na to, and we are going live today, is something that blesses so many, many people. Last week, wala po tayo sa TV dahil sa NBA. Ang dami talaga nagtanong sa akin, Father, na walang kayo. Alam mo naman, Father, inaagahan ko yung misa ko at bumabalik ka agad ako para mapakinggan yung sermon. Father, nag-a-anticipate mas ako ng Sabado para lamang mapakinggan, may makuha ako. You know, I feel that we are a blessing to people. Invitation ko ngayon sa mga na be nito. Be a blessing also. Sa totoo lang, may nag nagsabi sa akin ganun, Father, yung pondo po natin medyo mababang mababa. Kaya kung kayo po'y nanonood sa television, magre-request po kami, eh, hey, baka gusto nyo i-bless din kami. You know? Magpadala kayo. Pakin pinakikita naman natin yung ating account. You know, hindi po yung mayaman si Father Mario sa television mas na to. Hindi po. Kasi lahat ng yan ay hindi po sa akin pumupunta. Dumederetso po yan sa ating pondo upang itong ating ginagawang ministry will continue to be a blessing for others. May nagtanong, Father, sobra naman. Lahat sa akin humihingi. Father, nafafatig na ako. Yan ang tawag nila. Fatig na ako, Father, sa daming nagre-request na mga tulong at humihingi sa akin. When do I stop giving? When do I say enough? Alam mo, gandang sagot sa kanya. Stop when God stops giving to you. Para hindi nyo gets. Hmm. Magbigay ka habang tumatanggap ka kay Lord. Kung walang-wala na, then you stop. But the good thing about this God, the moment patuloy kang nagbibigay, dumadalo din ang biyaya sa Kanya bilang pagpapala ng Diyos ng biyaya. Stop when the Lord stops giving you. But as you are continuously blessed, continue to be a blessing. Amen. Please all rise. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the faithful, God measures a gift not by its size or cost, but according to the greatness of the Spirit by which it was given. Let us pray that we may be as generous as the widow in the gospel. We pray, Lord, teach us to be generous. Lord, teach us to be generous. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons may rekindle the divine gift they receive at their ordination and serve God and His people with a generous heart, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, to, us be to be generous. That politicians and civil leaders 
may be selfless as they initiate programs for the integral development of society, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to be generous. generous. That those stricken with debilitating illnesses, the victims of natural calamities, violence and injustice, may be relieved from suffering and be able to recover their lives, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to be generous. generous. That philanthropists, benefactors, and generous institutions and individuals may continue sharing their blessings and receive their reward from God, who is never outdone in generosity, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to be generous. generous. That all of us gathered here may never feel so poor that one cannot contribute anything or so rich that cannot receive anything in all things. May there be solidarity and mutual help among us, we pray. Lord, Lord teach us, us to be generous. We include the thanksgiving intentions of the Nunez and Montinola family, the birthday intentions of our VP Vice President Jeju Martinay, and also his wife, Doctora Elenita Bina, who celebrated her birthday two days ago. We include the thanksgiving intentions of Lynn Fernandez and Lu Jacinto for their birthday, the healing of Hejashim of Korea. We pray also for the repose of the soul of Bartolome Hiloka and Helen Munar Puzon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us to be generous. Father of mercy, hear your children who call to you. Make us understand that our gifts and our sharing are pleasing to you when they come from loving hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented to the altar. May the many friends that your sacrifice in mind be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, look with favor, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that in celebrating in the mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give a thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works to Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of a holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with pope benedict with Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo Magpasawalang hanggang
we pray to the Father in heaven to bless us that so we may continue to be His presence that blesses and cares for others. We pray the Our Father. Pagdasal po natin ang ating TV ministry. Pagdasal po natin ang napakaraming may magagandang loob na sinusuportahan itong ating gawain para sa iba. Our Father, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless one another with the gift of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. This is Jesus, is the Lamb of God who takes away the world's sins. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive Him. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, 
we invite you to pray with us this prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The more you get to know the God you believe in, the more you will truly love Him, the more you will feel blessed, the more you will become a blessing. Kaya kung gusto po ninyo na muling makilala tong Panginoong ito in a very personal manner, magkakaroon po tayo ng Jesus Encounter Seminar. Isang araw lang po yan. Know your God, know your peace, and encounter Him in Jesus. The Acts Catholic Prayer Community invites you for this seminar on November 17. That's going to be in the next Saturday na, next Saturday. Yan po'y alas 8 hanggang alas 6 ng gabi at the Meralco Purpose Hall. The seminar, maapat po ang magbibigyan ng talk. Ako po ang isa sa mga yon. Ang isa ay si Father Tome ang dalaway lay speakers natin. We will pray over you for the gift of peace which is very, very beautiful as a gift. Gagawin po yan dito po sa Meralco Theater. 
magkakaroon lang po lang registration na 250 kasi kami na pong bahalang mag, maghanap ng pakain sa inyo ng lunch at, break, at uh, merienda sa umaga at merienda sa hapon. Nang sa ganun po, hindi na po kayo malalayo. May registrations po tayo sa labas pag nais po ninyo. For those of you who can come on that day, diretso na lang po kayo, hindi kayo malapit dito, okay din naman po. But we would like you, if you can, to register para po kasi uh, uh, maximum of 250 lang po ang aming pong masasama sa, gru sa grupong ito because of the venue. Meral ko lang po yan dito lang po sa Ortigas. Come, be blessed, and encounter this God of blessing. We have been truly blessed in this Mass. Go and by your lives show the generosity of your loving God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning.